What's up you guys, After Show Reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Marvel's Agent Carter. This is Season 2, Episode 3 and it's titled Better Angels, so let's get into it. I wonder if he was absorbed into the, like the Gravitarian. You know what happened at the lab was an accident. Nevertheless, Dr. Wilkes is dead and the only lead that we have in the case is a tie pin. The same kind that Dottie Underwood tried to steal in New York. I called Thompson when I got back into the office, haven't heard back yet. It's hollow. <laughs> There must be 50 grand in here. Plane ticket to Moscow, one way. And a Russian passport. Why would Wilkes have a Russian passport? Maybe because he's a Russian spy. Do you have any evidence to support yeah. that preposterous theory, Agent Baker? I found this under his mattress. Same gun that was used to kill the agents moving Jane Scott's body. A spy who hides every bit of incriminating evidence in one easily discovered place. I don't believe it for one moment. You think someone planted all this? I think Isodine is trying to frame Dr. Wilkes and they want us to do their dirty work. Australian. Didn't seem like he was rushing spy. Oh my god, Woody! <laughs> this is more Bro, like a movie. Hold it! You're in the shot! Still in the shot. Cut! Mr. Stark, we have rushes for you to look at. Oh, I thought you should be in pictures, Peg. What do you say? Arlene French called in drunk. You want to play a sassy beer wench? I'd rather be the cowboy. No, I like it. I don't think the audience is ready yet. But they're ready for a movie based on a comic book. Sounds like a dreadful idea. I'll have you know this is a historical drama. Kid Colt was a real person. And if it fails, there'll be a substantial impact on taxi. Unbelievable. That rift snuffed out that atomic explosion like a match. This could be the greatest find of the century. Well, apparently it's important enough for Isodyne to fabricate a story about Dr. Wilkes being a communist. You know, that's an easy enough setup. He's already a target because of the color of his skin. I won't let them tarnish Dr. Wilkes' name like this. Wilkes was a member of the Arena Club? Is that where that pin is from? Yeah. Well, I'm amazed they allowed him to be a member. They keep their ranks male and pale. They've been trying unsuccessfully to recruit Mr. Stark for years. I'm not a joiner. Women aren't allowed. Well, there's that too. <laughs> that pin belonged to one of the men that tried to kill me last night. And Dottie Underwood tried to steal one just like it back in New York. Who is Dottie Underwood? She kidnapped you? <laughs> You're wearing your brown hair jacket. The Russian knockout with the killer backhand. A Soviet spy in an old boys club? The hell have you gotten yourself into, Peg? Tommy Angle was Perfect. Cops didn't die. Because we're lucky you have a bit of a fringe well, kill going on, hey? sold it. I'm not the only actor in the house. Hmm? Why don't you work? Oh, I was uh, I wasn't feeling well this morning. I... Oh, you okay? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm better now. Good. What if I told you I wanted to retire from acting? You mean after the election, right? I mean, hate for anything to overshadow the campaign now. No. Huh. Of course. Of course, there's just idle thoughts and... <laughs> we win this thing and move to Washington, you can retire and have all the babies you want. <laughs> mm, that sounds wonderful. Wow. Look who finally decided to show up for work. Jack, what... An appalling surprise. I missed you too, Marge. Your incident report from the accident at Isodyne? I fixed a couple of details. I chased the Russian spy into the lab, but couldn't apprehend him before he set off an explosion. This is rubbish. This is covering your behind, Carter. People might get the wrong idea. And what idea is that? That you're a communist. The only communist I know is Dottie Underwood. Have you gotten one iota of information out of her yet? Or is she still rearranging the office furniture atop your sternum? Don't worry about things that don't concern you, Carter. She was stealing from the very organization that we are investigating. And that investigation is concluded. You're John Hancock, please. I'm not signing my name to that. Fine. You don't need to. You can't do that, Jack. She was acting as a part of my investigation. On loan from my office. Isodyne is using Wilkes as a patsy. They found something so dangerous it destroyed their own lab. Now they're pretending it's never happened. Case is closed. <sighs> I've forgotten what a pleasure it was to work with you. Um, I need to find out more about the Arena Club. Who's a member, who's a friend, who's an enemy, and most important of all, what do they talk about behind all those closed doors? I want to plant listening devices in the club and let them incriminate themselves. Well, that sounds boring. That club is men only, remember? 
You will have complications pulling that off. My plan will have enough jazz for your liking, and believe me, you won't be bored. Come on. Who's a good boy? Hey. How's a good boy? Give that back. So he is watching it. Good. How do you like it out here so far? I wish I packed my clubs. <laughs> but I'm guessing you didn't call me out here for golf. You've been briefed on the situation or dice to Just crossing the T's on that report right now. It will be very uncontroversial. The spy, Wilkes. He stole some sensitive material from the lab before he blew up the place. I'm going to need your help recovering it. Well, as far as I know, we've recovered you everything. You seem dodgy, my dude. Stole from Isodine. What kind of sensitive materials are we talking about? Oh, you'll know it when you see it. If I find anything. I'll let you know. You give me a call. We'll do lunch. I have faith that you'll do the, the right thing. The majority of our membership hails from the Ivy League, of course. Round Excuse one. me, Terry. Torrance. Yeah, that martini? It's been about five minutes. Yes? Well, how many more minutes before I get it? Perhaps I could render your busy bartender <laughs> some assistance. I assure you, Leopold is quite capable. Listen, Torrance, we've got one hell of a building here. Unfortunately, what you've got inside that building is duller than Sunday Mass. Take my word for it, it can get quite raucous. Why, just yesterday, we had the monthly rehearsal of our very own barbershop quartet. I'm sure if you met some of the gentlemen, you would have... That's a very... the problem. you got a surplus of gentlemen. Women are not allowed in the arena club. Welcome to the arena club, ladies. I don't ever say how it's stark and get completely behind the suffragettes. You'll find the lounge through here and the pool table on the left. Anyone gives you any lip, tell me with Terry there. Mr. Stark! This way to the bar, ladies. No, 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 no. no. Security, we have a code pink. <laughs> pink. I like pink. I'm 12. Security. I need war shower in the chambers now. I think we might have a breach. I don't know. Just something ain't right. Hey, you. You're not supposed to be in here. Miss Wendy. The powder room is that way. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I get really confused around books. You know what, Terry? I think I might have been a little bit harsh in this place. You're not half bad. Mr. Sock, it's time to go. Actually, your club's terrible, and I'm never coming back. Come on, <laughs> boys. Let's go back to my pool and play water giggles. This is a private club in America. You need a search warrant. Probable cause. What part of this case is closed? It was unclear to you, Carter. I told you there is a conspiracy afoot. The Arena Club is fabricating the future just the way that they fabricated the story about Dr. Wilkes. The date on the newspaper is tomorrow's date. They were giving uh, Representative uh, Anderson a warning. Resign willingly and we'll play nice. Refuse and we'll ruin your life. Where are those newspapers? I, I had to leave them behind. Well, of course you did. God forbid bringing me actual evidence. Hold on, Jack. If something comes up on one of Peggy's bugs, we have all the evidence that we need. The bugs were destroyed. The club must have had some kind of countermeasure that shorted out all of Howard's devices. So you've got nothing? Why are we even having this conversation? Because it's because Peggy! we need to dig deeper into the arena And we know that she's right. They're colluding to throw an election. They've already smeared a man they tried to kill. You're being a coward! Peggy! You are so afraid of ruffling powerful feathers that you're doing what you always do. Burying an ugly truth and hoping someone will pin a medal on you. Be done here. Get on the next plane back to New York. I mean, she's right there. If he thinks I'm just going to drop this, he he's has... not wrong. Are you on his side? You know I'm on your side. I believe you. But you're kicking yourself so hard for what happened to Wilkes. I got him killed, Daniel. He went into that lab of his own free will. All I'm saying is I think you're onto something with the arena club, but if you keep acting like the Lone Ranger, I cannot help you. I'm doing what needs to be done. If you're unwilling and unable to help... Stop. Look. 
Yeah, I'm confused about that. I've seen this before. This is a side effect of zero matter. If I'm contaminated, then you mustn't come anywhere near me. Uh -oh.